Just then, his driver pulled the lever. Goodbye, little Edward. Look out for me this afternoon. Goodbye, little Edward. No doubt 98% of you watching have heard this man countless times. Ernest John Morris is one of the best voice talents of the Railway series, but most people would disagree with that. It's no good. Boring. Annoying. Repetitive. Unjustified turns in retrospect. His ad-libbed chuffs and energetic bursts are quirks that people struggle with, which is to be expected given the fact that most of this community are aspiring filmmakers. But as a listening experience, it's a whole different ball game. Morris does wonders to adding life to what are essentially just stories about trains. And keep in mind that in the early 60s, the only forms of entertainment were records and live TV. So by applying the quirks he's known for, Morris was essentially adding more steam to the cylinders, if you will. In fact, the whole reason for the series existing is because of how steam locomotives function and behave. It was, it was the wonderful sound that steam but For some reason, we don't get the same sound out of diesel or electric, do we? No, a steam engine is an extrovert. He likes you to know how he's doing or how badly he's been treated. Yeah. He's always got something to say. And Morris understood this firsthand. As a matter of fact, he was even vice president for the Bluebell Railway during its infancy. And if his ch 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 wasn't enough, his wheel slip adds the weight of an anvil. What's the matter? What's the matter? What's the matter? Matter, 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 matter. What's the matter? What's the matter, 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 matter? Come on. Come on. Don't be silly, don't be silly, don't be silly, don't be silly, don't be silly. Come on, come on. Don't be silly, 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 don't be silly. The railway series only existed in print and audio forms of entertainment, and Johnny took full advantage of this, going as far as preparing his own versions of the stories, to which Audrey instantly approved of. Remake-wise, ad-libs don't work, as we can see the engines moving through the visuals, and you can add the sound effects yourself. But storytelling wise, it feels right at home. Morris had a real knack for telling stories as he had plenty of experience from the likes of Tales of the Riverbank, Animal Magic and Flying Scotsman Films to name a few of his pieces. And what about his vocal range? Johnny Morris has arguably the widest vocal variety out of every other narrator before, during and since his tenure. And those very voices have even ventured outside his railway series readings. Let us not prevaricate, let's get on with the nosh, as they say nowadays. Well, it's scandalous. How do we know how many to eat if he won't tell us how many to eat? Oh, please, don't talk to me now. I'm so out of breath, I'll never manage the tangle. Johnny's recordings also double as fantastic ASMR. So, fun fact about me, I have a fire stick, and whenever came those nights where I could not sleep, I'd whack on some Johnny Morris to help me drift off. I'd go against listening to Willie Russian's recordings for times like this, as much as I love Willie because they have actual sound effects. This isn't a bad thing, don't get me wrong, but as you can imagine, it isn't a good thing when it's one in the morning and your family's asleep, even at a low volume. Johnny's natural voice is also softer on the ears and gives you a sense of relaxation when you want to unwind for a bit. As discussed before, Morris was a children's entertainer and so was like a duck to water for what were, well, children's books. And he has plenty of standout moments, again, as discussed already. And if you thought Rushton could sing, then oh boy, so can Morris. He only got the chance to sing once for the story Percy and Harold, but despite that, it's the best performance for a song in the entire series. Said Harold Helicopter to our Percy, you are slow. Your railway's out of date and not much use you know. But Percy with his stone trucks did the trip in record time. And we beat that helicopter on our old branch line. No one could have done it better. If this video has changed your opinions on Father Nature, then be sure to leave a like. And if you still have doubts, I'll end the video with Johnny's experience with Wilbert. He was a steam buff, and so was I. He was highly technical and reserved. I was slightly emotional, an extrovert. He sat in the control room. I was locked away in the recording cubicle, so we weren't in very close contact. But he nodded and smiled at the characterization of the Welsh engine and the troublesome trucks and seemed contented with the way his stories were interpreted. There was never any trouble or worry. He was very professional, and I did not tinker or nitpick. He knew what he wanted, and I knew what to do. 
If the Reverend himself likes Johnny Morris, then he's certainly someone worthy of appreciation from the fans. Wouldn't you agree?